Shumai Baub. Hello everyone, Jason Shepard here from the Learn Welsh podcast and today we are looking at part three of the list, things only Welsh people understand. If you're not from here, you better look at these. And it's a list of different words and phrases you'll hear in Wales. Not all from the same part. I wouldn't say all of them myself, but I do know most of them. And it's part three. Not another one? Oh, for God's sake, I can't honestly, I can't stand this. I can't believe that this video has become three parts. It's become a movie trilogy. And now at the end, all the mysteries are going to be revealed. And the, the hero, he's going to get the girl. <laughs> Who knows? So, it says maybe you're visiting, moving to Wales, or here for uni or college. These tips will help you. A lot. I'm not sure how true that is. But, there are some interesting phrases here. And the first one is number 24. Where to? Over by there. This is a perfectly normal conversation to have. And it is. People will say, instead of saying, where is that? Where to? Where to is she? Where to is she now? You don't hear it very often now, but this bit you will hear. Over by there. By there. You'll hear that all the time in my part of Wales. Swansea, South West Wales. You don't hear it so much in other parts. But they'll say, oh, I'll meet you by there in a minute. I'll meet you over by there. Or he's over by there. She's over by there. They just mean he's over there. But for some reason, we insert the word by. Now, number 25. Ah, yes. You know the TV show? Absolutely fabulous. Well, actually, in Wales, we'd say absolutely fabulous. Because fabulous, fabulous has two syllables. Fabulous. We do that a lot in Wales. We drop a syllable. We do that with lots of words. I can't think of any off the top of my head, but we do. And fabulous is one of them. Ah, uh, number 26. Half and half is as precise as our recipes get. That's right. Curry, half rice, half chips. Standard. No. No, it's an abomination. It's a, it's a Welsh abomination. <coughs> you can't have your curry with half chips and half rice. No, it's awful. Some people even say, I don't want rice, I'll have chips with my curry. To me, the thought of having a curry without just having rice is awful. But it's a really popular thing. You'll see it in a lot of menus. A lot of um, restaurants will actually say, you can have your curry with rice, with chips, or with chips and rice. Don't ask for that in a curry house, though. They may slap you. Oh, right. <laughs> Number 27. You can forget 4G. It's rare you'll even find reception. <laughs> yeah. I've got 4G on my phone. It goes in and out depending on where I am. It doesn't work brilliantly. And uh, it works best in big cities. But even then, it drops quite, a, quite often. We'll end up with 3G or 2G edge network. It can be quite bad reception in Wales. And here's the thing. This 5G network that's coming out, it's going to be non-existent. It's non-existent in Wales. It's really, really difficult to get a good signal here. Get good Wi-Fi. The best advice I've ever got. Right, number 28. There's nothing grammatically wrong with she have, I do do it, and is it. But yeah, you'll hear that not as often as you used to, but you do still hear them. Oh, she has to go out. Oh, she has to do this. She has to do that. Oh, I do do it all the time, man. And is it is often at the end. Oh, yeah, going go, go, go down the shops, is it? Oh, he's doing his... His degree in the Cardiff, is it? Oh, right. It's like, a, like an emphasis at the end of a sentence. Right, 29. Whatever you do, don't use the valleys as shorthand for Wales. It's just one part of our awesome country. The Welsh valleys, where the dragon sleeps and life is beautiful. Uh, there are lots of valleys in Wales, but they are specifically the valleys. For example, in Swansea, there's a big distinction between Swansea 
and Swansea Valleys, which is miles away from Swansea and its own little area. Um, I live in a seaside town. I live nowhere near the valleys, but if I travel 10, 15 miles, I could go up into the valleys. I have no idea if that's a good explanation or not, but it tends to be the hillier areas away from the seaside, away from the coast, tend to be the valleys. Uh, okay, everybody in Wales can recite this place name on request. Are you ready? It's a big word, but I'm going to do it, and I'm going to do it for you now. Cardiff. <laughs> okay, there we go. I always have to look at it, but I can't say it. Chlamvar Puchwingech go gerech ruin drobach santasilio go go goch. Loads of people in Wales can say that. Even if they can't speak Welsh, they learn that. Just up the road from Chlamvar Puchwingech go gerech ruin drobach santasilio go go goch. And can you pronounce the name of the town? Yeah. Okay. Chlamvar Puchwingech go gerech ruin drobach santasilio go go goch. Chlamvar Puchwingech go gerech ruin drobach santasilio go go goch. Oh my God. I don't know why. It's a party piece. People like to trot it out, especially outside of Wales. People will say, can you say that long place name? And then we'll start to trot it out. Right, number 31, the last one in the list is... I'm waving my hands about a lot today. I'm Welsh, can't help it. We are, I'll sit on them. There we are. And the creaky chair as well. Number 31, a dut is a small, pronounce, is a small person pronounced dut. The reason it says that is because it's spelt D-W-T. And I've heard people pronounce it all kinds of ways, including dot, doot, doubt, but it's dut. It means little person, like uh, Zraigochia. He's not a big dragon, he's a, a dut, a small person. And you'll often hear English Welsh people, English speakers who are Welsh, say little dut. So they're literally saying dot, uh, little, little. They, they say, oh, that's a little dot. And I think I mentioned this in one of my recent videos about favourite words. We use it to say, you know, sort of, oh, isn't that, that that's a lovely person. What a, what a beautiful person that is. Very sweet, very cute. It doesn't just mean little, but it can. But it can mean sweet. You might say, oh, that, that dog's a little dot. Oh, look at that child, what a dot. Look at that, uh, whatever, dot. Well, there we are. We've done all of the 31 words in three parts. The hero got the girl, not me. Little dry go here, little red dragon. He's got a girlfriend, haven't you? Yeah. I thought it was going to be me. Oh, well. Anyway, uh, thank you for joining me today. Really appreciate that you, you are watching these videos and I hope enjoying them. If you do enjoy them, please give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to uh, be notified of all the videos, click the subscribe button and then click the little bell to make sure you get notified for all videos. Because if you just click subscribe, YouTube doesn't always tell you the videos are there. I don't know why they do it this way, but they do. Now, if you love what we do and you want to support us, there are two ways. You can join the Learn Welsh Podcast Club. You can go to learnwelshnow.co.uk and join it there or you can go to Patreon patreon.com slash learnwelsh If you do support us you'll get loads of extra learning materials as a thank you for your support and uh, that's, that's it Yeah, that's it for today thank you for joining me today thank you so much I'll see you again soon and now it's time for me to say Double key. Bye.